The country has suffered for many, many years since independence. We have had economic exclusion, not inclusion, where the Minister of Finance, right from the central bank governor down the drain, <coughs> as well as the provincial commissioners, belong to one, belong to one ethnic uh, community. We have also had um, seven pieces before, and I'm not blaming Uhuru on this, who are from one ethnic uh, community, or those who are not were sons of previous collaborators. Where is this country going? Unless we speak about it, what are we going to do? Are we coming to speak with very good English here because we went to universities, best refined universities in the world, so that we can be seen to be speaking, yet the main core value of this country is really going into the drain? People like Raila Odinga ought to be respected. This, man bones, this man's bones have been broken. His flesh has been eaten in the cells by bugs, but his spirit has not died. Therefore, reconciliation should not come with, from these young men who are in diapers when Raila was fighting for justice in this country. I'm not saying I'm supporting Raila, but I'm telling my brother Uhuru Kenyatta that this country is bigger than him. He should rule to the will of the people, the preamble of the Constitution, which gives him the authority by the choice of Kenyans, not him coming to impede right, what ought not to be there. And people's assemblies are key in, discuss, in discussing way forward. All right,